finish up and poke your bow with a little poke your dosa. Poke your dosa itself. And it's kind of a breathing dynamic. Um, so we do it from Seiza. Could be a problem for a few minutes. So the so way I want you to do this is offer your hands and have them push. So you should be able to in, have this, this stabilization, relax. It keeps pushing. It's okay. Push more. Push more. And then notice that when he's pushing, it takes very little. Because he's giving you this. So you're, you're breathing him in. Comes back to your center from your one point. And you see. So he offers that push. So, yes. Now you can do that. Good. But notice right here, he's what happened is the elbow got back. So if your elbow gets back here, I can get to your shoulder. So when he offers, he relaxes when you here. The elbow forward. So there's a natural give here. And this connects to the one. So now I can't do anything. And all he has to do is shift. No, we'll go back. Shift forward. Shift forward. Without bending. Okay. So when you shift forward, it goes off your, off your. Yeah, and just. Okay. So there may be, there's many, many ways. To but this way he pushes and okay. goes, uh, combining your key. Combining your key. Shall we try that? And again, you don't want anything to come up. So you know you don't want so you're here. Shifting. Why do we call this Kokidosa? Because you want to breathe your partner in. Once you breath, breathe them in, you're one with them. Right? So then when you exhale, you're relaxing and you're moving with them. Uh, one of the first contexts in which Kobayashi Sensei uh, talked about Shodo Seisu was in Kokidosa. And, you know, actually you can read articles and he'll tell you there was really a series of events, but um, he, all, you know, he felt that Shodo says it was very important that when I offer my hands, already I, before he touched, I've already touched him. If that's the case, it's very easy. So I want you to put your hands out, let him touch. Now I'm going to send my key. Now even if I try to do it right, it's very difficult to start again. Now I've already touched him. Now, when you do Shodo Seisu, I want, uh, sorry, Koki Dose, I want you to do this as minimally as possible. So without time, I'm here. It's as if I'm touching him already, so I just shift and put him down here. Haim, I got you. You're here. Okay? One way we can test if you have him, he can push. Push. More, more. This makes it easier. <laughs> so then, after you push and make sure you're, you're okay, then don't push, don't push. Then what we're trying to do is try to do stuff. But if I already had it going, I don't have to do much. So work with the concept of Shodo Seisu in your Koki Dosa. Another way to explore Koki Dosa, you can With the Joe, as he pushes it right now, push, push me over. Yes. It's easy. You can push me over. You can push me over. Whoops. Push me over. So the Shodo says when you have a joke, is you send the key out to the side. Push me over. Push me over. All I'm doing is sending it out. So all this effort is going out that end. Then I just turn my head. Okay? Okay? Now get your center back. 
So if, if one side you can't work, then just go the other side. But don't go this way, because he's actually stronger than I am this way. Because I'm trying to in, in, invade his territory, which is the Nessusia. Push. Okay, just, just, and then as this goes, follow it with your own hips. Follow it with your own hips. So this is Kokidosa with the Joe. You need one Joe for it. Okay? okay. That's how you do it. If I offer and he pushes. Second one. <laughs> there goes the second one. <laughs> okay, a little cookie dosa. <laughs> 